Have you ever wanted to know how to add Excel data into a SharePoint list, but you couldn't find an easy way to do this? If you answered yes, then you have come to the right place. In this lesson, we're going to show you how you can take this Excel spreadsheet and import the data into a SharePoint list. And we are going to do this task using Power Automate. So let's get started. We are in Power Automate and we are going to create a flow. But before we do that, let's make sure that we save the Excel workbook. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. and save the Excel workbook. Now let's go back to Power Automate. Let's go to Create. I'm gonna select Instant Cloud Flow. We're gonna choose Manually Trigger a Flow. Let's give the flow a name. Or right, import Excel to SharePoint. Hit create. Inside of the manual trigger a flow, I'm going to add an input that's going to allow the user to select the file. So I'm going to choose file. The next step is we're going to create a file. So go to a new step. Select or type create file. We're going to choose the SharePoint action, the site address is going to be our SharePoint site, the folder path is going to be a SharePoint document library that I've called drop off library. Let's give the file a name. I'm gonna call it leave dot X L S X and the file content. I'm going to choose file content from dynamic content. So your flow should look like this so far. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a five second delay. And this is going to ensure that it has enough time to save the file in that location. So I'm going to go to new step, type in delay, like delay action, count is going to be five, the unit is going to be seconds. Just like this. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create an Excel table. So I'm going to type create table, create table. The location is going to be the SharePoint.
the SharePoint site, document library, it's a drop off library. In the file, I'm going to choose the name from create file section in the dynamic content. Now it's asking for a table range. So the table range is going to be this formula right here. And I will have this formula in the bottom of the description. So I'm going to add that formula in the table range. And that's all I need. The next step is I need to use the get files property only action in SharePoint. Go to new step. Type in get files right here. The site address, select it. The library name, it's a drop off library. That's all we need. The next step is we're going to use the apply to each. So this step here will allow us to loop through all the files in our document library. I'm going to choose value from get files properties only. The next step is going to be we need to list the rows that are present in a table. So I'm going to choose add an action. Type in list rows present in a table. Select it. It's asking for a location. The location is going to be the SharePoint site. It's called test. Document library, drop off library. In the file section, we're going to select full path. In the table, we're going to select enter a custom value and type in table one. Okay. The next step we're going to do is we're going to apply to each. So this apply to each action will allow us to loop through all the records in our 
Excel workbook. We're going to select the value from the list rows present in the table. We're going to add another action. Next action is going to be to create a SharePoint item. Create item. Site address, we're going to select the site, which is test. List name, this is going to be the SharePoint list where we want to insert the records in SharePoint. That list name is called TBL underscore sick and vacation. So if I go to that real quick, show you what that looks like. So you want to put the records in Excel into this SharePoint list. Once we did that, these columns appear. Now, in the employee column, we need to go to expression and put in this expression, item, open and close parentheses, question mark, in brackets, in, in single quotes, is the column name in the Excel workbook. I hit OK. I'll do the same thing for sick hours. These names have to be exact. Whatever you have. in your Excel workbook as the column names, they need to show up right here. And we have vacation hours, so called vacation hours. Just verify it, employee, sick hours, vacation hours. All right, let's save our flow. Now we're ready to test our flow. Press import, select the file, open, run flow, done. Our flow ran successfully. You can see that the data from Excel was imported into the SharePoint list.